Okay, Bay State running here with Michaela Page of Tewksbury, a winner here in the 600 at the Sprint Distance Classic in fifth place in the 300, 138 in the 600, and 43.5 it looks like in the 300, but winning your heat. Um, Michaela, um, what was the plan coming in? What, what were you looking to achieve here? Um, I was honestly just hoping to finish both events, because um, I've run a 600 in a really long time. And I wanted to get that lactic acid feeling, like the burning again. And then the 300, like, it was such a short amount of time in between. I just wanted to get it in as, like, uh, hard effort. Yeah, so you said, like, 10, 15 minutes yeah. uh, to do the 300. Um, how did you feel on that 300 uh, right after just getting that shot of rest? I mean, that's not too much after doing a hard 600. Yeah, honestly, I didn't feel that great. Um, the first one, uh, yeah, 100 felt awesome, and then all of a sudden, like, hit that wall for the last 200, and it's definitely tough, but it was worth it. So, Michaela, Michael, last week um, you ran a thousand, um, ran 305, I think. Um, is this an event you might be doing uh, later too during the season? Uh, what, what event are you? Um, focusing on this year. I know the 600, you own the state record, so, and it's been your primary event, but are you looking at the 1,000 too, possibly? Um, I think I'll definitely run the 1,000 here a bit more than like I would normally run the 1,000 in a season, but I'm aiming to run an 800 in like January, hopefully to run a good time. Yeah, and where is this 800 going to be? The Virginia Showcase. Oh, okay, which gets uh, a ton of great talent there, so, so definitely a good race. Um, Talk about competing in these meets. Are you going to be competing in most of these meets here at Haas Fieldhouse? Yeah, I'm going to try to compete in as many as I can um, to get that like racing experience back. Build it all up. And how's the training been going? Uh, I know you ran cross country probably as um, a tune-up for, for indoor track, right? Yeah, um, the training's been going good. We, since we got a lot of snow, we don't have our track anymore. But um, We've gotten to get inside the school, so like, that was really warm and nice. And yeah, it's just like trying to get the workouts in and like get them done well and all that. Like the small things are definitely going to end up building up to the big things. So that's what we're really focusing on. So like you said, uh, the Virginia Showcase next month. Um, I know you got a 206 best. Are you looking to get a time similar to that or even faster? Um, well, I'm really hoping to get a 204 by the end of high school, but. If I get a 208, 206, I'd be really happy with that too. And uh, talk about competing in these events and having to wear a mask. Obviously, something we're not used to, uh, something that they, you're not used to as, as a competitor. So, um, how has that been? Is, is it pretty difficult? I mean, you ran, like I said, 137 and 600. To me, with a mask, that's you could probably chop a few. Uh, seconds off on, on that time just because you have the mask on. Yeah, um, I would say 600 up, I start feeling it, but the 300, I didn't notice it at all. Uh, like the 70 minutes, like it's just over so fast that like you don't even get a chance to. And honestly, it's like a good mental hurdle to try to get over. Okay. Um, it'll just make you stronger for when you don't have the mask, and like breathing will just be that much easier. Um, so hopefully it does chop off a few seconds and everybody's going through it like you're not alone um, it's sort of just remembering that and thinking of it as like almost a fun challenge to get past absolutely uh, well Michaela congratulations today uh, good luck the rest of the season but good job thank you thanks